It was off to the wilds west of Owasso today. That's where Jim Grayson lives with his bees, tens of thousands in each hive. He's been harvesting honey for 25 summers. This was my first try. I was told a little smoke could make the bees behave. It uh, makes them think of fire, and they'll eat honey. And Jim's job to blow the bees out of the frames. And uh, then it takes, doesn't take very long. There are different methods of removing honey. Some take a frame out one at a time and brush them off. Some try to smoke them down, but that's not too successful. You can find much more than honey in these frames. There's also beeswax and pollen. Now this one's got a lot of pollen down in it, no brood. It's got a lot of pollen down the cell. Blow the honey. Mm -hmm. You see the, the yellow, orangish, yellow colored stuff in there? Mm -hmm. Jim Grayson has never had any doubts about whether to be or not to be a keeper. <laughs> Bees are the most useful insect the Lord ever put on the earth, but everything has to be pollinated. And your bee is your prime pollinator, because we can move them from field to field, from orchard to orchard, berry patch to berry patch. But the real treasure for most of us is the honey. And you have to use a hot knife to do this. Yes. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, it kind of, it kind of melts and goes wrong, too. This is how Jim removes it from the combs. It takes a centrifugal force and throws it out, the honey out of the comb. And for any hardworking beekeeper or reporter, the final reward. Yeah. Ah, the sweet taste of success. Marilyn McCain, News 8.